On June 1st, at the cafeteria of Jiangxi Industrial Vocational and Technical College in Nanchang City, a student found a black object in his meal. To his horror, upon picking it up with chopsticks, it was discovered to be a rat's head, clearly showing teeth and eye sockets. It's reported that the student confronted the cafeteria staff, who defended themselves, claiming it was duck meat. The student then recorded this nauseating scene and posted it online. After the student posted the video online, it sparked heated debate among netizens. On June 4th, the Market Supervision Department of Nanchang High Tech Zone intervened asserting after repeated comparisons of the photos taken by the student that the foreign object was in fact a duck's neck. The student who filmed the video, Zhan, released another video to clarify, stating that the object was not a rat's head but a duck's neck. On June 5th, the school issued a statement, confirming together with the student that it was a duck's neck. You might wonder why the student would contradict his initial claim and specifically post another video to clarify. Actually, the reason is simple. If he didn't do so, he would be immediately expelled from the school, and possibly no other school would accept him. This is the reality in China. When problems are discovered, authorities generally do not focus on solving the issue but rather deal with the person who raised the question, which is easier and comes with the least consequences. After all, in front of powerful public authority, not many can stand firm on their principles. On the afternoon of June 6, Chinese media Shangyou News contacted a rodent researcher who has been in the field for over 30 years. The expert stated that he had seen the news images, just based on the photos, if they are genuine, it appears to be the head of a small mouse. Following the official and school responses, the incident did not quiet down, but instead caused a great uproar. Many people mocked, China has a new species lately. Am I blind, or are the people from China's Market Supervision Bureau blind? This is how a crisis of credibility arises. The duck's teeth are so white. This place is always turning things upside down. Duck necks are growing rat teeth now. I only see a rat's head. Where is the body? Just thinking about it is scary. If the police dare to eat it, I'll admit it's a duck. Some people even created funny memes based on the event. People also commented they have successfully dealt with the people who raised the issue. If this student doesn't admit it's a duck's neck, he will lose his student status. Our country's public servants have always been blind. What's terrifying is that the authorities are turning a blind eye. No wonder there has been no progress in food safety over the years. The most powerful thing about the Communist Party is how they can lie with a straight face. This incident continues to ferment. On June 10th, Jiangxi province set up a joint investigation team and issued a statement saying that a joint investigation team consisting of the Provincial Department of Education, the Provincial Public Security Department, the Provincial State-Owned Assets Supervision and Administration Commission, and the Provincial Market Supervision and Administration Bureau, had been established to investigate the June 1st food safety incident at Jiangxi Industrial Vocational and Technical College. Such an overt food safety incident resulted in the mobilization of multiple administrative departments, a rare occurrence. Some commentators analyzed that the joint investigation team is essentially a stability maintenance mechanism, primarily to smooth over the issue. However, the fact that a simple matter of whether it's a rat's head or a duck's neck has been escalated to a provincial-level investigation team is a bizarre occurrence only seen under the disorderly governance of the CCP. This in itself represents the incompetence of the government and the waste of taxpayers' money. In the end, there are two possible outcomes. One is to continue to insist that the rat is a duck, 
similar to the Suzhou chained woman incident or the Hu Xinyu incident, forcing you to surrender and ultimately resulting in an unresolved mystery. The other possible outcome is that the investigation eventually admits that it's a rat's head. Then some lower ranking officials are scapegoated, making it seem on the surface as if the party has upheld justice. However, looking at the current development of the situation, the latter outcome seems more likely. The CCP, in order to maintain its rule and win the hearts of the people, often sacrifices some insignificant pawns. But as one wave settles, another arises. On June 8th, the cafeteria of the involved Jiangxi Industrial Vocational and Technical College again exposed a food safety problem. A student with the pseudonym Da Shan stated that he saw a classmate discover a large green caterpillar in his meal while eating at the first floor of the cafeteria. Da Shan reported that his classmate was quite introverted and he took a photo with his phone as soon as he made the discovery. Later, the cafeteria staff took away the dish, so he wasn't aware of any follow-up actions. Dashan revealed that the food stall where the suspected rat's head was served is still operating normally, although few students eat there now. The caterpillar incident occurred at a different food stall in the cafeteria. According to a report by Yangzi Evening News on June 8th, a student at Jiangxi Industrial Vocational and Technical College revealed that there were numerous complaints about the school cafeteria nearly every month, saying that finding foreign objects like steel wool, hair, small bugs, etc. is quite normal. This student also stated that since the rat's head duck's neck incident, although bowls and chopsticks had been replaced, the cafeteria's footfall had dropped by about 40%. The remaining people are basically those who are hoping that the cafeteria should be relatively cleaner during this period of inspection. It's noteworthy that this is not the first time students at Jiangxi Industrial Vocational and Technical College have found a rat in their meals. An article published on the China Digital Times website pointed out that as early as 2021, the Nanchang Market Supervision and Administration Bureau had revealed that the hygiene of the college was problematic during an inspection, with rats even found roaming the cafeteria. Jiangxi has indeed been a place of many issues lately. On June 7th, a young mother from Jiujiang, Jiangxi province, shared a video on a social media platform that further sparked public debate. She stated that during a visit to her child's kindergarten, she accidentally discovered that the children's eating utensils were being washed in a toilet. In the video, a middle-aged woman is seen squatting next to a toilet, putting the children's stainless steel eating utensils into the toilet bowl, and then washing them with a plastic faucet hose. After cleaning, she stacked the utensils neatly. Given the woman's swiftness, this was clearly not her first time cleaning the children's utensils in such a manner. This scene left the young mother utterly devastated. The thought of her cherished child eating with utensils soaked in a toilet was unbearable, leading her to decisively withdraw her child from the kindergarten. Food safety issues have long plagued China and public places like schools, where students represent a particularly vulnerable group, are often hotspots for such problems. On June 8th, 17 children at the Dandelion Kindergarten in Huanggu District, Shenyang City, Liaoning Province, experienced symptoms of diarrhea and vomiting, which officials determined to be an outbreak of norovirus infection. Norovirus is a virus that can cause non-bacterial acute gastroenteritis. Symptoms primarily include vomiting, diarrhea, nausea, abdominal pain, and headaches, with children primarily suffering from vomiting and adults mostly experiencing diarrhea. Norovirus mainly spreads through the fecal-oral route, namely through food contaminated with feces teeming with the virus. It can also spread through droplets in high population density areas. Incidents of norovirus infection are relatively common in schools in China. On May 15, several students in the class group of Beijing Institute of Printing complained of vomiting and diarrhea after dining in the school cafeteria. The next day, 
the school announced that after investigation, four students and one cafeteria staff member tested positive for norovirus. The school's cafeteria had repeatedly had food safety issues, with iron wires, hair, and even insect limbs found in the food, and food often being served undercooked or moldy. Students' complaints yielded no results, and no further reporting on the incident was seen. In November 2020, over 30 students from a school in Fuzhou City, Fujian Province, showed symptoms of vomiting and diarrhea, with some students confirmed to have a norovirus infection and needing hospital treatment. On November 7, 2020, a netizen posted a video exposing serious hygiene problems in the Pin Wei Xuan on the first floor of the second cafeteria of Wuhan East Lake Institute. Workers were seen smoking in the kitchen. And one even picked up a sausage that had fallen on the floor and placed it directly into a tray without washing it. Even more revolting, a kitchen worker was seen washing potatoes with his feet while wearing long rain boots. This news sparked widespread attention and anger on the internet. According to information from Chinese Center for Disease Control and Prevention, between September and November of 2020, there were at least 30 outbreaks of norovirus across China, involving about 1,500 cases. The outbreaks were mainly in restaurants and public cafeterias, with the suspected source of infection being the collective consumption of contaminated or spoiled food. Patients would exhibit gastrointestinal symptoms such as nausea, abdominal pain, and diarrhea. In fact, the public cafeterias referred to here are primarily school cafeterias. On March 5th of this year, some parents of students at the Chengshi Foreign School in Ya'an City, Sichuan Province, discovered that the school cafeteria was serving students chicken frames meant for feeding dogs. Furthermore, the peeled potatoes bought by the cafeteria had been soaked in a chemical solution, emitting a pungent odor. What was even more infuriating was that the food quality report was dated a day in advance. The inspection date for the food served on March 5th was listed as March 6th. Some students who ate this substandard food developed symptoms like diarrhea, which led to a parent's protest at the school. In response to parents' doubts, a man who appeared to be a supplier even knelt down, begging for forgiveness. On March 7th, the Yucheng District government announced that all sealed food samples met the national food safety standards after inspection. As for the issues raised by the students' parents about the advance inspection in the food safety report, the supplier's violation of using false inspection reports. And the lack of standardized management in the school cafeteria, the authorities confirmed these to be true after an investigation. As a result, a fine of 200,000 yuan was imposed on the fraudulent testing institution, and three relevant individuals were administratively detained. Chengshi Foreign School decided to terminate its supply contract with these cafeteria food suppliers, and dismissed the logistics manager and the principal of the elementary division. In response, a person pointed out, "Just kneel down, pay some fines, and it's all settled. Who's responsible for the health of the students? Will the cafeteria dare to do this without the school leadership's acquiescence? Now, for the sake of money, everything is contracted out. Why not contract out the management as well? Wouldn't that save more trouble?" With this kind of food safety, they still advocate for people to have two or three children. Who stipulated that students must eat at schools, must wear school uniforms, and extort money to such an extent? Are they still worthy of the title of teacher, educator? In the current legal environment, the wicked do not die, while the good people live in hardship and suffering. In China, any school must be approved by the party organization. School principals, teachers, and other management personnel themselves have long been reduced to direct managers of power or accessories to power. While the students who pay tuition and their parents have always been in a disadvantaged position. Under such an imbalance of power and responsibility, the school authorities often take advantage of their positions to contract out the school cafeteria. The contractors are generally related to the school leaders or relatives of higher-level leaders. 
With these relationships, they can do as they please. Some school cafeterias, even if not contracted out, also fall within the monopolized zone under power control. That is to say, all school cafeterias in China are under the shadow of power, with no transparency to speak of. Imagine a school cafeteria with no competition, no responsibility to consumers, and the prevailing lack of morality. These unregulated leaders would naturally resort to using expired substandard food, and endless hygiene issues in the cafeteria for the sake of maximizing profits. Indeed, the governance of Chinese society is failing in all respects today. Whether it's gutter oil, poisonous milk powder, toxic land, poisonous rice, polluted air, toxic education, and harmful vaccines, why haven't these numerous toxic issues ever been truly resolved? Chinese people can only continuously adapt to this toxic environment. And the root of the problem lies in the fact that they have no real power against the government and public authority. This is precisely the pressing issue that Chinese society needs to face today.